In this video, I'll show you how to start mark training with your horse. And this is pretty useful for Liberty, kind of to create more of a draw towards you and keep your horse more focused. This has helped Lynx a lot. So I just like to do mark training with kind of all my training horses for different reasons. But specifically with Lynx, my Mustang and main Liberty horse, this has really helped him out because it transfers the mark to me during the Liberty Circles, so I'm able to keep him going around me and his rest place is when I ask him to come back into me. So it helps your horse with that. If they're struggling with leaving you during Liberty or going away or getting distracted, this will help with that. So these are the first steps to teaching your horse mark training. So the whole idea with mark training is to make that mark the place of rest. The first step that I do is I put it as close to the fence as I can and I back up drawing my horse to it. And you can see how I draw my horses I think in my Liberty Part 1 video. So I'll work on this a few times until I don't really have to keep asking my horse to draw up. So there when he stepped off I just quickly and quietly asked him to step back on. So if your horse ever steps off the mark, try not to make a big deal out of it, but ask them to step back on. Now if they're being fidgety, then keep them off the mark and start working them away from the mark and bring them back to it. While well, walking is more work than standing, they're walking until they get on the mark where they can stand and relax and rest. And the other super important thing is to make sure you always back your horse off the mark. Never walk them forward off the mark or side pass them off the mark, always back them off of it. It creates that barrier too where they don't think they can go forward off of it. So they're never going to be running past it if you start having that issue in the beginning. So that helps with keeping them on the mark too. Now I think right here I move the mark off the rail a little bit more. So now I can actually start having him bend and go around me. There's the other thing, I just stepped onto the mark right there. So ideally with mark training, if the mark is flat in the middle of the ring, I want my horse to always go to it. So say I just turn him out in a paddock with, a, with that exact mark in there, he'll probably gallop up to it and stand on it. For him not to do that, something needs to occupy the mark, and in this case it'll be me. So whenever I'm on the mark, he can't be on the mark. So what I just practiced back there was moving him around off the mark with me on it. So I pretty much want to just make the workload a little bit harder off of the mark. That way when he gets to it, he appreciates it more and wants to relax and rest on there. And now this is what they use in movies too when they train horses to gallop like a mile through the woods to come to someone. It's mark training. I don't know if I'll have any clips in this video, but I'll back up get the horse on the mark, back them off, have someone walk them away, and then turn them around and send them back to me. But now here I also work on ground tying with them, in a sense, where when they stand on the mark, I should be able to leave them and walk away and do whatever, and they're not going to want to leave the mark. So to get them to that strong point, again, you're just going to have to keep reinforcing that standing on the mark is relaxation. You don't ask them for anything up there. But now they can work when they're not on the mark. And today is a pretty buggy day. There's a bunch of gnats out everywhere, so he's definitely a little bit more distracted with his tail and focusing on getting those away from him. So again, I really work a lot on having him relax on the mark and knowing that that's just the place to hang out and wait until I ask him to get off the mark. And now you can do whatever you'd like. You can totally leave your horse. You can stay within distance of them. So now at the start, I stay a pretty close distance to them because if they do step off, I want to make sure I can get them back on the mark as soon as I can. Whereas if I'm too far away, I might not be able to make the correction quick enough. But now Lynx is at a point where I can get pretty far away and he knows to stay up there. 
Again, always make sure with mark training to back your horse off the mark. So not only does this help with your horse's draw to you, but it also can help with their bend because they're kind of bending around the mark waiting for you to invite them in onto it. And another thing not to be surprised about is when you start asking them to back off the mark, they might get a little bit more resistant because you're teaching them to crave the mark, to want to be on it. So don't get super upset if they start getting sticky backing off of it. You're just going to have to be patient and wait for them to like, release and back up. So like, it's getting a little bit tougher there for me to back him off. And again, if he's not on the mark, then I should be on the mark, or the mark should be up against the fencing on its side. So that's kind of what I'm also reinforcing here, is that I'm occupying the mark so he can't be on it. And right here, I'm just showing how difficult it is for me to get lengths to walk forward off the mark. I keep asking him to come forward, and I'm pulling, and he just won't come forward. This is how well he knows not to come forward off the mark. And here's a clip of me practicing his come cue. He's gotten a little bit lazy on it. That's the start of using a mark at a distance and he hasn't worked on it in quite a while so he's a little bit slower. I'll try to find some more clips of him doing it a few months ago when I was able to practice a little bit more frequently with him. This is kind of where part two would focus more on is mark training more at a distance but it takes quite a consistency to get them to start craving the mark just at a standstill and from a small distance away. That'll wrap up this mark training video. Hopefully you're able to see something useful out of it, whether it be because you're interested in creating that better draw for liberty or working on patience and ground tying or whatever you may find from it. Leave a like on this video, subscribe, and leave a comment down below of any video ideas that you might want to see on this channel, how-to related or any sort of horse related video, and just let me know down below. And thank you for watching. <laughs>